yes my beautiful people what is going on it's cream slice as always i hope you guys are doing good welcome back to the channel today we are going to be bringing you one of the most broken warlock builds for the new activity which is onslaught mode which is just waves and waves and waves and waves of enemies and you're just killing them you need to stay alive you need to complete the activities to get your favorite legendary weapons such as mountain top which is available this week currently as we're recording this video so without further ado so i was testing a few builds out in legendary onslaught mode yeah the threadling builds are cool art is still good but the cherry on top still has to be the OG Solar Warlock build utilizing the Sun Bracers. I just found this build had so much to offer. You know, when you think about the Sun Bracers build, when you're trying to use it effectively in Grandmasters, it doesn't kind of pull off because there's not tons of enemies and it's really hard to get that gameplay down in Grandmasters. But Onslaught mode, this is where sun braces absolutely shine you have no problem proccing the sun braces perk we can get infinity restoration times two which is absolutely godly if you are trying to run this activity solo even in a team-based setting you've got infinity solar grenades you've got infinity incinerate snaps igniting everything plus not to mention we have well of radiance for the the boss sections and if you are getting heavily run over as the tears go higher i found that the solar warlock build performed the best so yeah let's break the og sun braces build down so we'll take a look at the sun braces first the armor perk is helium spirals all my ogs know how this build goes but if you are new to destiny and you are just starting off i'll break down the armor perk Helium Spirals increases the duration of solar grenades. Solar melee kills grant you unlimited solar grenades for a brief time. So you can roughly get about four or five solar grenades off while the Sun Bracers perk is active. This is what I mean when you're trying to take the Sun Bracers into a Grandmaster. It's just harder to proc the perk because you have to be tactical. But when you have an activity like onslaught mode you have waves and waves of ads yellow bars like it's just really really easy to proc and it's just an absolutely fun way to play onslaught mode as well so for the super you definitely want to be running well of radiance this is amazing for any team based activity especially when you start getting to the higher tiers and you're getting overrun if you have two solar warlocks running well of radiance you can just bounce off each other and have them up all the time i was constantly doing that with another fellow guardian who was running well of radiance and some braces as well so when it comes to the ability section if you want that restoration times two while you are running the sun braces build you want phoenix dive you need the aspect heat rises so you're going to hold your grenade you're going to be floating in the air and then when you use your phoenix dive it's going to scorch enemies while you are diving what you are trying to aim for is you want to get your enemies low of health do the phoenix dive while heat rises is active on your way down you're going to scorch your enemies and if they die to that scorch it activates restoration then you proceed to get kills to extend the timer so when it comes to your melee i like using incinerator snap in this activity because it covers a lot of ground scorches everything and it's easy to get that phoenix dive kill to prop restoration then we have solar grenades which you need to equip with the sun braces the next aspect is going to be touch of flame this is going to also increase the linger duration of our solar grenade it's going to emit blobs of lava which scorch and damage enemies more frequently a really really nice touch to the sun braces build so we've touched on the super the abilities and the aspects now we are going to touch on the fragments so 
basically guys when you are running your fragments it's going to be your preference you can use my setup if you want i found to have more of an impact with my personal setup but please feel free to interchange any fragments that suit your playstyle. the first one you obviously want is ember of ashes this is going to apply more scorch stats then you want ember of char solar ignition spread scorch to enemies it's going to give you 10 discipline as well so here are the two ones you can swap out if you don't want to run them i use ember of resolve solar grenades final blows cure us give us healing every time we get a grenade kill and lastly ember of inferior so the reason we use ember of inferior is we tie that in with the phoenix dive as i was explaining this is going to extend restoration for us and then it's just constantly getting ability kills or solar weapon kills to extend the timer of restoration so when i say i like to go crazy it doesn't get much crazier than tommy's matchbook and the great thing about tommy's matchbook why it works so well with this build as you know we're going to have restoration times two up as long as you're killing enemies with a solar weapon and tommy's matchbook ties into this right so ignition trigger sustained fire with this weapon overheats it increases the damage but burns the user you all know this is one of my favorite guns in the entire destiny universe but when you pair it with restoration times two you're never gonna get burnt right and with ignition trigger you're getting a massive 200 percent damage increase right and the great thing about tommy's matchbook is you cover all three champions right you ignite unstoppable champions with the artifact you get headshots with it you're going to become radiant which deals with barrier champions and not to mention this season all rifles stun overload champions so when i tell you tommy's matchbook with this build is top tier i urge you to go and try it out for yourselves you will have so much fun infinity restoration times two burning the user getting a massive 200 percent damage increase at the same time there's not much weapons that do it better when it comes to primaries in my opinion we'll go over the armor mods really quickly and how we are utilizing this build so firstly we have solar siphon to create orbs of power with tommy's matchbook or any solar weapon you're using double ashes to assets for more super energy on grenade kills and obviously with this build being a grenade build you're throwing four or five grenades at a time when some braces is active you will see your super bar absolutely skyrocket on the sun braces we have firepower so when we get grenade kills we create orbs of power for us and our fire team we have impact induction and then we have a solar loader because tommy's matchbook is really slow at reloading on the chest piece we have our damage resists and charged up for an extra armor charge on the boots we have innovation reduces our grenade cooldown when we pick up an orb of power we have recuperation for health every time we pick up an orb of power also and then absolution reduces all ability cooldowns when we pick up an orb of power as well so lastly on the warlock build we have reaper when we do our phoenix dive we get a kill with a solar weapon it creates an orb of power that way we have one bomber mod for extra grenade energy when we are performing a phoenix dive and the way i was spending my armor charges was with one two finisher so you're gonna get orbs of power galore you're gonna have plenty of armor charges when you feel like you cannot prop some braces and you don't have enough energy do a finisher it refreshes your melee in an instance so then it's back to using the sun braces again 
so that is my og broken solar warlock build for onslaught mode thank you all for your continued support i know it's been a while but we are back we are back so thank you for watching the video